how not to end up in Facebook jail and have you ever been in Facebook jail or even blocked by Facebook? In today's video, I will bring you some tips that keeps you out of Facebook jail and enjoy using Facebook for your daily business. If we have not been formally introduced, my name is Annette Block, and we make real estate marketing easy. So through a mastermind I was over on the weekend, we all spoke about different topics in marketing, Facebook, and all the time the Facebook jail and be blocked from Facebook came up over and over again, and we started to share tips with each other and make each other aware why their clients or why some users are blocked on Facebook or wasn't Facebook jail. And those tips I share with you today. So before we even go into Facebook jail and what you can avoid, my biggest tip and takeaway for you from today is that you at least should have a second administrator on your Facebook pages, on your Facebook groups, on your business accounts, and in your ads manager. This is huge because just in case something happened to your account, you at least have a backup using a second administrator who you trust and you give access to all your accounts then you can use when you need to use it and continue with your business as nothing happened even if you are in Facebook jail or being blocked by Facebook. And sometimes it can take some time to figure stuff out to go with Facebook give them the information they are requesting because they are taking all the time they want and you never know when you are out of jail or when you can continue with your business. So my first tip for you would be to move slowly in Facebook. What do I mean by moving slowly in Facebook? When you are creating a new Facebook account, if you are creating a new group, if you are creating a new profile, if you are creating a new a business manager account, a, bis, a new ads account, you want to take it easy and you want to take it slow. So when you are starting out on Facebook, you want to make sure that you are setting up your account and not not invite hundreds of friends of one time to like your page. So you want to be slowly about it. You want to make sure that you maybe only introduce your page to five or 10 new people a day with your friend request. Also, when you are interacting on Facebook starting out, now you don't want to send five, 500 messages or send links to people they, who don't even know you. So you want to be very strategic and a safe number, and I don't want to get too much into it, is between five to 10 friends requests, five to 10 messages, five to 10 comments, during the day. So those are the first step you can take to warm up your account. When you are getting blocked many, many times now, you are required to submit your and verify your ID. And that also can take some time, especially when you have a bigger violation. So Facebook will make sure that you are an actually person that is behind that account. So you want to follow the steps along, provide the information, and you should be fine. Some action put you in jail for whatever reason. Sometimes it makes no sense. But when you are moving slowly and not ticking your AI off, then you should be fine. And we just need to familiarize ourselves with the community rules, even they are huge. Now, 
again, you want to move slowly, especially when you are putting your credit card into your new account or update your credit card within your account. It could be on your Facebook business page when you are boosting posts, but it also is important when you are adding them into your ads manager now you want to make sure that you are taking it again slowly when you are putting in your credit card information you want to wait one to two days to before you take any action you don't put your credit card into your account and then stop running advertising that is a huge huge flag and that really could put your account into danger because Facebook also will block it because he it may think that you are a um, spammer and that you are not the person who is running those credit card accounts so they will block you and then you have to follow the steps to get your account unblocked so when you are inputting a new credit card or even if you are updating your old credit card wait one to two days and then take slowly action on that credit card run small advertising in small amounts so that facebook can see that you are understanding the rules and that you are not somebody who is ranking up facebook advertising accounts and putting ads out there that will help you to feed the information Facebook needs so that they see, hey, that is a real person, they know what they are doing, and now the small steps bring you a long, long way. So don't run advertising right away, wait a few days, and then also warm up the credit card to the advertising, where we always starting with a small fee, where we are doing video, uh, running video views, so because they are the most needed all the time, but the, also the most affordable, and telling and showing Facebook that we are not ranking up our credit cards in debt. Now, again, when you are doing videos, videos on your business page or even in your advertising, Facebook don't like that you have logos in that in that video. So don't put logos into the video. It appears that they are sometimes a reason why you get rejected with your advertising or why your uh, post has been taken down or even why you put in Facebook jail. So when you are doing videos, you want to make sure when you are sending them somewhere that that page or that website is legit is set up up to Facebook rules because even landing pages or websites can get you blocked if you are not following the Facebook rules, but also when they are like spammy and when they are seen as spam by Facebook. So Facebook knows exactly what we are doing. They are watching everything. They are watching us at every move and they know more than we know about ourselves and they know more than we want them to know. So make sure that even your landing pages, your websites are following the community rules outside of Facebook. But soon as you link it, then you have to follow the Facebook rules. Also, make sure that you are not spamming people when they are signing up on your landing pages, when you collect their information, because also when people report your domain name as spam, Facebook will block you or block the domain so that you are no longer able to use that domain. And now it is reported and hey, it is another hurdle you have to take. When you are doing your videos, make sure that you are describing right away what your video is all about so that the viewer know exactly what to come 
and they can make the decision if they want to watch your video or not. Also be very careful about the language in your, you, in your videos. So you have to follow the rules. So don't be spammy, don't be salesly and use appropriate language because uh, Facebook can read everything what we are saying. So it is for bitten to sell alcohol on Facebook. So when you are trying to sell alcohol in your Facebook video, that definitely will get you uh, blocked from your account because this is a big no, no. When you do it intentionally, even you know you shouldn't do it. So make your videos, make an intro, let them know right away what they are saying, but also watch your language, what you are putting out there, if it is spammy, or if that is a trusted resource, valuable resource for your consumer. When we are going into Facebook advertising, now we are even talking about more restrictive community rules. So those rules are um, set by Facebook again, but they are much, much, much stricter. So make sure that you also follow them. Your ads can be rejected for the reason just you are using the word you and that you are using the word you are. Now with you and you are, you are pointing out to people. You are pointing maybe to an isolated group of people. So you want to avoid this. And many times when you are using the word you and you are, your advertising gets uh, rejected probably for discriminatory reason. And you want to avoid this because Facebook keeps scale what you are doing. So you start with zero and when we are all good, so our scale goes into our favor. But the more advertising is rejected, the more rules we are violating, now our scale will work against us and the more violation and more rejection of your ad that can follow with uh, Facebook or with your ad account being closed out because you are not following the rules. We see that more and more. So Facebook is not predictive. It can be happened for a good reason, but it also can be happened for no reason. Then you can go and request a review and no one knows how that will turn out if you get your account back or not. Also, you want to avoid in your advertising to make promises where you promises results to people. If you are using this mortgage broker, we can promise you, you are receiving, uh, your house will cost you 10% less. You cannot make such promises. So you have to work around. If you are promising something, it cannot be as obvious. So you need to be careful with your wording, not making false promises to the user who is seeing your advertising. You also want to avoid in your headlines such as XYZ or seven tips to. That is not seen very well by Facebook. Yes, you can use it in your normal day during your posts on Facebook, but I would avoid those promises or those seven tips I would avoid this in a headline where we are running advertising. Also because we are working in the real estate industry and do have our special ad category in place when you are running advertising for real estate, mortgage or employment, you need to use a special ad category and need to declare it I'm not a special ad category. If you are not doing this, Facebook will deny your advertising. And when you are doing it over and over again, avoiding those check marks under the special ad categories, your Facebook account can 
get shut down. So you want to follow the rule. And that is a very big, big rule you need to follow because now we are talking about the Fair Housing Act and we are talking about not isolating categories and isolating dem demographics. So we want to stay compliant with Facebook. I know you will say, Annette, but those categories, they are restricting me to use uh, certain communities, restricting me to use certain ages. There is a work around it, but that is something we need to talk in a different videos because that goes much, much deeper. Many of you also have a VA. When you are using somebody else or even worse, when you are giving somebody your login information to your account, which are not in your place, you want them to use a VPN, which is a browser extension that shows Facebook that they are in your location and not especially with VAs, they are overseas or they are somewhere else where Facebook will block you if they are spotting some information when somebody is logging into your account from an area overseas or even out of town. At the end of the day, we need to follow the special rules that Facebook puts into place. When we are violating them, we are getting punished. If we are doing it over and over, over again, then that will result in Facebook blocking our account. So make sure that you are following the rules, get familiar with the rules. And those are just a few tips. There are many, many more rules for different categories, for different businesses. But my biggest takeaway for you today, and I will give it as a homework, find somebody you are trusting, which you can give administrators access to your Facebook account, getting them or getting a second admin into your accounts, all your Facebook pages, all your Facebook groups, all your uh, business managers, your ad accounts. So if something happened to one of you, at least you have a backup and can, can run your business as usual without worrying about when you can access the account, shut off your advertising if you run them. So that, those are all things you need to think about it. And that can happen if you are being on your own, don't have a backup. Now those ad accounts, even if you are blocked from your account, those accounts will run and you are not able to shut off all the advertising, they will run and run and run, and you have no way to turn them off. So make sure that you have a second administrator in there so that you are able to have access in a backup situation you are needing. Now, my question is to you, what experience did you have with Facebook? Have you been in Facebook jail? I would love to hear from you so that we can all learn from each other. Different situation, put different people in Facebook jail. And when we are communicating with each other and sharing what us put in jail, now we know that can put somebody in jail and we can avoid it. So let us know if you have been in Facebook jail and if so, why? That would be interesting to me. I would love to talk to you. Thanks for watching that video. And now look for the videos above that will fit your need and our recommendation. So watch those and I see you in the next video.